BB has been watching just too easy. Kota Kid, unfortunately, would not be able to get to his compound, did drive past this, and his Rebox is going to get that knock and quick flush onto Old List. You can see that is going to turn the attention for BBB back to this compound. Now, Kota, with BBB, do we stay? Do we play for this? Or do we just move on? And if Roth, unfortunately, oh. had nowhere to go because where he put down was a gas station that the Rumblers deemed their new home. That, and so that's two players out. They decided to not go that direction, shifted over into the east or the west, that cost them one of the players, and then in continuing the path down, they lost another one. So BBB, while they're close to Sonics right now, coming out, because X is holding down position, but h one should know exactly where it is. Good toss coming out from Mime, and Troglodytus, how are you going to respond? Now you can see the utility really coming into play. A, a, a bit there from Mime miraculously survives thus far, but oh, Tiggleton is not going to let that happen. Manages to get that knock there with the M4. But you can see there are so many teams in this area. There's cross. A more aggressive shoot to kill. I like this. It felt like we weren't seeing them be too active Ooh. in the earlier stages, and now they are trying to third party a lot more. Whenever we were, uh, whenever we see the map next time, look at how much. This is still in this area, and so you can see Felipe actually landing uh, quite a bit of damage on Flood. The knock is going to come out, however, and you can see very quickly Batungas making sure they get credit for that kill as the rest of the teams continue on. 22 Esports is not worried right now about stopping and engaging. They just want to get themselves and try and stay out of the line of fire for most of the teams. You can see Kickstart is not going to let this be an easy one for him. I love the fact that we saw, a, 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 that was a PUBG moment if you ever saw one. A, a second or two difference there, E United would have gotten away with that pretty clean. But instead, now we're seeing the dominoes fall. E United had to stop. 22 now starting to suffer casualties because of E United stopping. And 22 was taking the shots at it, but it's going to be Yellow Jacket's position that just. Backs are safe. And you can see in the background, gas cans set up outside of this to try to see what they could pick up. But oh my goodness, it's actually going to be Snakers and E United who read this. They're going to pick off Adam. But here's the problem. Like, Yaho can't move. Troglodytus can't move. Now he saw Necro lying prone. It looked like Sparking might try oh, to jump up for him. Oh, Shotty. Oh, that was not the play. There you go. Shotgun Necro does get the opening knock, but down to 48 HP. He's got to be a little bit careful not that to happen again. And Rello, E United still in the area. They're rotating on the back end of this, trying to see if they've got one last opportunity to maybe steal a kill before they head to zone. Uh, yeah, I, that, that's kind of what we're looking at right now. I would have to say, Draw Gadidas throwing out the incendiaries as well as shotguns. You guys are winning my love right now. Yaho, though, in a bad spot. E United just shifted down, are stopping him in place. That looks like I think his teammate Necro accidentally flashed him, but you can see Rusty Zara is really just concerned about securing kills. I think Troglodytes have read that the win oh. might not be here, but right as he goes into the door, he's going to get taken down by Punage. <laughs> Necro, though, with the shotgun again, finds another knock. I think at this point, Troglodytes just trying to get as many points possible. And there yeah. you go, that final elimination coming into play, sparking the only one still standing up for Yahoo. But again, I mean, United haven't fully left this area yet, so uh, Sparking's and, not out of the blue. And here's the problem. They waited so long, they're only going to get, but they have a, a Dimmy bridge camp set up over there. It's about trying to navigate these hills, as you can see what's going on with Sonics right now. The hills are going to provide so much line of sight blocks that are going to let you navigate this and get... Hills 300, owning probably one of the strongest hills in this position. Sonics uh, <laughs> trying to keep making sure uh, that they get rid of everybody else here on this Eastern Hills. They get that opening knock there on to kickstart Tiggleton. Uh, has an idea of where Snakers and Rello are, are going to throw more throwables to keep them not only from rezzing kickstart, but giving them that opening point into zone. Meanwhile, it looks like AKM chose not to rotate on the bridge by vehicle, but instead opting to swim. It did manage to get one kill on Valiant, and that's going to open things up. But Corsac might have the line of sight here. I don't think that AKM wanted to do that. I think that was kind of a, a setup with what Rumblers has in their position. You can see Corsac playing in this area. He's going to go ahead and take down in CLS. Uh, we have Los that's on the opposite end of this one with a lot of vision coming into play. Corsac playing the low ground inside of it. But now AKM, Rumblers, it, they've just been destroying each other. Dodge is now holding down the eastern bridge, as you can see, uh, off in the distance there. And it's going to be shoot to kill that's just going to be looking down this ridge line at everything. Oh, Sonic, oh, 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 Sonic just said no to just too easy. There you go. I mean, they're still, though, not in the clear on the eastern side as the Rumblers aren't in the clear down to the south because Dodge has finally taken a peek over what was happening. Dodge have been slowly trying to creep up onto SDK's position. King, who's been trapped, is managing to get some damage here onto 
uh, members of Sonics, but ultimately it's going to fall here. And that was a good distraction that the United need to finally leave this Eastern Edge, but one as well, because that hillside at 300 has been holding. It's very, very hard to hold the entire thing, especially having Extreme down in the compound. Uh, so for Newt, not only to make sure that they've got that Northern dominance, but they need to be a little bit careful not to be walked up on members by 300, but who also needs to be careful, it's still Dodge. And there you go, e United. I mean, kudos to Stakers and Rello. They tried to find a place to put down. Unfortunately, there's just not really a lot of free spots here. But I got to give kudos to Dodge on this one. Dodge are doing a great job in surviving here. They've been being picked apart from multiple angles, finally having multiple members go down. But they've been trying to weather this the best they can. But with Dodge down the hillside, there is a crate that AKM is moving into. But it looks like 22 is looking that same direction. Hazeton spots it out, knocks down Damox. But now it's going to be the tidal wave of different movement. Yellow Jacket's coming in as well. I mean, it's just an absolute bloodbath here in the corner as Yellow Jackets find themselves eliminated. 22, AKM, Rello for E United, still trying to keep the dream alive. Where they're going to go is they've still got to cross the street, and that's where the rest of the eyes in, uh, really in this whole zone, are really going to have a perfect sign here on them. And it's talking about perfect sight. Dodge, Ethan, getting more knocks. The thing with Dodge is they need to make sure they clean this up. They need credit for their kills, something that they've been struggling with. But they got up the back to three members in that situation. They're finding the opportunities in a way that they shouldn't be able to. 22, trying to take the shots at range, see if they can get some more out of it, but it's going to be 300 with the angle. 300 has so much control in the circle. There you go, Neferhor, as you say, so much control, great line of sight, unfortunately, because 300 has been here so early. They haven't had much kills or action to show for it elsewhere because everybody else has really been hugging onto the edge and part of that edge hugging now. Getting on the same time, but now Sonic is taking the opposite side into the shots of shoot to kill. Alo is now all by his lonesome right up next to dodge. The circle's gonna move in an entirely different direction. Oh, Alo at three HP is making sure to get the most amount of work for it, looking to hit those hits, Ooh. but talking about it, that nade by Ethan is gonna bring this down to our top four. Dodge once again meeting us. Here comes 300. Oh, oh, <laughs> that was dirty. 300 now at five kills, making that one look clean. And but now they've got to turn their attention one more time to New Tropic. We talked about this hill and how these two teams were going to come together. This is it now, but as Cynics gets spotted out first, Leda trying to swing low and see if he can get that line of sight on Richie B. Down 300 is collapsing into this, and this is a huge problem for New Tropic. Now it's just going to be Leda. While Leda has been playing out of his mind, this is a ton of people that are going to be looking for him. Yeah, and Vox heard him. You can see 100 is wanting to go after them to get the kill points because they're pretty certain if they make the move in, they're going to die. But now that's just feeding it right over into Sonic's hand. Lamplot now the last one up for New Tropic, but it's going to be 300 trying to use that opportunity. They're hopping vehicles and they're circling to the south. I mean, this is the time to make that move. As you said, they're distracted. Sonics really wanted to make sure they got Lamplot down for New Tropic. Look for that final kill on a little bit of a tree. Their car, the only other Lamp cover that they have in Lamplot, turning his attention now to Sonics as they were distracted by 300. A little bit of tunnel vision there. As they don't have vision on how 300's moving. They're trying to creep out more and more. It's going to be Neferhor that spots up what's going on to the north, finishes that out, and now 300 is starting to take more control over the Sonic. So uh, this late in the game is how patiently they can play this out. Neferhor does get a knock onto H when two members still up for Sonic's Mime Tiggleton. The 300 doesn't blow it up uh, onto them. No, they're themselves. just going to kill yeah, themselves out. Killed. There you go. You know, if you're going to go out, go out in a blaze of glory. 300 picking up the first win of the day. I like that. They realize the fact that 300 has been on a climb. They a kill in favor of Sonic. So uh, this late in the game is how patiently they can play this out. Neverhor does get a knock onto H when two members still up for Sonic's Mime Tiggleton. Quite in a place with that car trying to give them some type of coverage and make sure that 300 doesn't blow it up onto them. Oh, they're themselves. just going to kill yeah, themselves out. Killed. There you go. You know, if you're going to go out, go out in a blaze of glory.